Welcome back, everybody. It is Erin Chung, and I teach modern real estate agents how to generate leads online, nurture relationships at scale, and take over local markets. Today, we're talking all about the power of Instagram, more specifically, Instagram for real estate. And this is part of a big series that I'm doing called Instagram for Real Estate, The Ultimate Guide. So this is actually a chapter of the big post that I'm doing for that particular guide. And so for today, we're talking about the best real estate Instagram posts, the ones that are going to get you leads. Okay. Before I jump in, I want to let you know that I do have a free training. It is called five steps to six figures. And if you are interested in learning how to get to your five um, if you're interested in learning how to get to your first or your next six figures in real estate, you're definitely going to want to take this training to get there. All you're going to do is going to go to, uh, community slash masterclass. Once again, that is community slash masterclass. And that free training is yours. It'll also show you how Instagram fits into your overall marketing plan. So let's talk about the best posts for real estate Instagram. And, um, I want to start off with, just basically breaking these down into a couple of, of different types of posts here. So there's different types of categories and we're going to go over all of these categories together. So first and foremost is number one, business branding posts. Okay. So I've said this a couple of other times in this big blog post that I'm doing for Instagram for real estate, the ultimate guide, but this bears repeating. And so what it is, is when it comes to branding, Instagram is the best platform ever invented as far as social media is concerned for branding your business. It basically is designed to help businesses build a personal brand. And this is why it's so, so powerful. So you have things like Instagram stories, you have the regular feed, you can um, talk one-on-one -on -one with people, you can DM, you can comment, and there's so many things that you can do on Instagram in order to build a personal brand. And so that's why that's going to be number one is building a personal brand. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, when you are doing um, your outings, your normal every single day thing that you do as a real estate agent, it could be about your team. It could be if you're having a party, a past client appreciation, anything that you can possibly think of is fair game for real estate branding. So again, this really is designed for like a behind the scenes type thing, right? So like um, how the party went, like just basically um, anything and everything that you could possibly think of, right? It's just the most important thing is just showing people that you are a real person, that there is a face behind the brand and just really connecting with people at a very, very deep, deep level. And that is what's going to build no like and trust factor. And people only do business with other people that they know, like, trust and remember. And Instagram is brilliant for building that no like, trust, remember factor. Okay. So real estate branding. Number two is behind the scenes of your transaction. So again, you can love HGTV or you can hate them. It doesn't matter to me, but they've built a multi-million dollar, probably billion dollar empire by this point based on all of these reality shows featuring agents just like you doing normal everyday agent stuff. Now I know a lot of it is not real and it's staged. I get that. But for you, it is real. <laughs> so like you can basically just talk about your real life every single day behind the scenes of your transactions. I want to see like the highs, the lows, um, the things that happened to, during your transaction, like um, how it got sold and all of those things. It's really, really interesting to people. And this is the part of real estate that people actually really like and are super into. If I was a home buyer buying a home for the very first time, I would follow stories like that because I would want to know, like, what is it like to, to buy a home? Like I would, I, like I said, I would want to know. And this is you in the real raw, you know, uncut. And it's just you telling your story about, what it is like. And that is going to be very, very attractive to people in order to get leads. So behind the scenes of your transaction is going to be huge. If HGTV can make millions off of it, why can't you? Number three is behind the scenes of your listings. So this is going to give people a sneak peek into the anticipation of a listing to come. People are nosy by nature. They want to know secrets. And so what you can do is you can do a sneak peek into your coming soons, your listings and all of that stuff. So as long as you're allowed to do a coming soon listing in your jurisdiction, I absolutely would do this because it's going to give people 
um, just a preview of what's to come. And that's really, really important. You can snap pictures, you can do Instagram stories, you can do videos, whatever you like, just make sure that you're telling a story of how this listing came to be and, um, you know, when it's going to be on the market and all of those things. Right. So just give them the information, enough information to, make sure that they're interested in your listing, but not too much information because you still want them to come out and meet you or opt in and become a lead. Okay. Number four is personal branding. So as I mentioned before, um, there is no better branding platform than Instagram, hands down. Facebook doesn't hold a candle to it. YouTube, Twitter, none of the above. Really Instagram is the place to go for personal branding. And so the way that I would do this is Again, you're, the point of this is to build no like, trust, and remember factor. So when you're doing your personal branding on real estate, you're going to want to focus on things like your family, your hobbies, um, your cooking, like anything that you really, really enjoy doing that's going to give people a an overview of who you are as a person. That is really what's going to resonate with people. And again, just show that you're real, show that you're human, um, show that there is a face and a name and a person that's behind this real estate brand. That's going to be huge for people. Also, don't forget to geotag any locations. Like if you're working from a coffee shop, make sure to tag the coffee shop. What happens is when people are um, looking for things on Instagram, they will search for a certain coffee shop or whatever. If you've taken photos at that coffee shop, you're going to be able to show up in those posts. So just make sure that you are geotagging locations as well. Number five is going to be a sneak peek of new listings. So we kind of mentioned um, doing like an, a coming soon for your listings, but a sneak peek would basically be to tell a real story on how the listing came to be. Okay. So, um, this is going to be a, a brand piece for you. So like if you are a luxury agent, you're going to want to focus on the lifestyle of what it's like to live in a house like this. If you're um, focusing on horse properties, again, you're going to want to focus on the lifestyle behind it. So this is really, really powerful for a lot of real estate agents, but sneak peeks into your new listings is really just a way to have the listing connect with someone. And when they see that listing, they're going to be able to envision themselves in that home, in that community. And that is what's going to sell online. Okay. So you're not just selling that particular property. Sometimes you're selling the community. If I'm an out of town buyer and I really don't know what it's like to live in that community, I'm going to rely on you and your Instagram stories and your Instagram feed to give me a clearer picture of what that's like. I can't get that anywhere else. I can go on YouTube and look around. Um, I can go on Facebook, but if I'm an out of town buyer, I really I'm going to rely on you to give me that information. And this is per this is going to set you up in a perfect position to do that. Okay. Um, and then finally, well, number six is your current location. So what I mean here is that when you're posting on Instagram, like I said, if you're at your favorite coffee shop or working out or wherever, if you post on your, the exact location, um, and you can do this after the fact for safety reasons, if you want to, but when you're posting a location, what you do is you ensure that you're coming up in those posts whenever people are searching for that location. So it gives you visibility there, but it also gives you visibility when, um, you know, you're tagging the businesses because the businesses will get notified that they're tagged. And if they reshare your posts or they, um, talk about you online in any way, shape or form, that's going to be free marketing for you and free publicity for you. So I love when agents um, tag businesses and the businesses re-tag, and then that way it's just like a cycle of traffic for both of you guys. It's a really, really symbiotic relationship, and I really, there's a lot of agents in our programs that have really good relationships with local businesses, and they get so many leads and so much traffic from these businesses. It's ridiculous. So I absolutely recommend that you do that. Um, I also want to see some open house videos. So one of the posts that you can do on Instagram is showcasing your open houses. And the way that you do this is you do a walkthrough tour of the open house. And I would do it just like a buyer would go through the, the house, right? So you walk through the door, you take them all around. And the trick here is really 
You just need to show them the highlights of the house and then tease something to come. And in order to get that thing, they need to either come to the open house or opt in and become a lead. So if you give them everything, there's no reason for them to engage with you further. But if you leave out a really big piece of information, they do have to come to you and opt in or come to the open house to see whatever that thing is. So I remember I did an open house that had this like sick pool. I mean, it was amazing. And I talked about the open house and then I talked about how amazing the pool was. And at the end, I said, if you want to see it, come by. And people did, they came by. So that's another way you can do it. And then, uh, number eight is neighborhood video posts. Okay. So I actually, as a real estate agent, I did a, um, a tour video of every single neighborhood in my community. And I just basically had a GoPro. I stuck it on my car. I drove through every single one and it was awesome. And so you can use like clips of those, um, on some of your Instagram stories. You can put them, um, on your Instagram feed, wherever you want to. But really, again, if you're an out of town buyer or even a cross town buyer, you can actually sell your community and sell your neighborhood. And when you do that, you really do give buyers um, a reason to reach out to you because they want to know more. They want to know more about the community. They want to know more about what it's like to live there. And then also homeowners, when homeowners see that in the Instagram feed, they're going to know that you are the local neighborhood expert. You want to be the go-to agent. I teach agents how to take over local markets. Like that's one of the things that we excel at the most. And one of the ways that you can do that is by establishing yourself as like the digital mayor of your town. And to do that, one of the ways that you can do that is basically by posting lots of information on your community. And one of the best ways to do that is to do those little drive-by videos, okay? So that's another way. Let me recap for you really quickly. So I'll show you all eight um, as a recap. So number one is business branding posts. Number two is behind the scenes of your transaction. Three is behind the scenes of your listings. Four is personal branding. Five is sneak peeks of your new listings. Six, you can share your current location, like if you're working at a coffee shop that day or wherever you're working, seven open house video posts, and then eight neighborhood video posts. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Again, this is part of a large Instagram series with several different chapters. It's called Instagram for real estate the ultimate guide. Okay. So this is one chapter in that ultimate guide. If you want to know more about this, you can go to our blog, just go to communityinfluencer.com slash blog, and then look up Instagram for real estate. It'll pop right up and you'll see all of the guide, um, in the right order. And so no matter if this is the first video you're watching or the fifth or whatever, you can see all of them in the right order. So you can get an entire view of, um, the Instagram strategy that I love using with my agents. And then finally, if you want to know how Instagram fits into your overall marketing strategy, <laughs> your overall marketing strategy, I do recommend that you go to our free training, which is communityinfluencer.com slash masterclass to get that. You can find me on Facebook. I have a podcast, YouTube, Pinterest, all over the internet. Just search for community influencer and you'll find me right away. So thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate your time and I will see you in the next video.